Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. As soon as I'm done walking this dog and that cat, I'm going to trim the entire property with the Husqvarna 223 brush cutter. Grab your stick, honey. I really love that brush cutter, but I think the harness is really what makes it. There's almost no way to just swing the thing and if you got a blade on, you can cut down a tree like that fairly easy. You just got to kind of work on something that big. But smaller trees just go down like butter. But grass is nothing, even this really tall stuff. As long as you're using the titanium string, which is by far the best. All right, I'm going to finish walking these two and then we'll get at the brush cutting. Brief little update on the decrepit garden. This cucumber is sure looking nice, but I got to get it pruned. Some of this, these side branches got to go. Um, anything that does grow to the side, which isn't going to be much, is going to grow that way. And the opposite on that one. This one is about ready to get trained up onto the cage here. And the tomatoes are starting to look nice and getting a bunch of tomatoes on them. They're still pretty small, but looking pretty nice. And I'll show you the ditch garden next. The vast majority of this is purple love grass. There's some other stuff like that right there, but not too bad so far. Same here. This is going to be like a big plume of purple in a short while. Some of these prairie drop seed are looking really nice like that one and that one and some not so much like that one if half of them live I'll be really glad especially these two these will look really nice at the edge of this bridge right here and in the ditch itself all of this stuff is wildflowers and it's gonna get big real quick now that it's past the little uh, seedling stage, or most of it is, it's got its second set of leaves. They really start moving after this point. And it's gonna rain tomorrow, and then three day, then a couple days of sun, and then about three more days of rain. So this is gonna be really cool pretty quick. The trimmers on the bench in the greenhouse along with this massive thistle. I mean, that thing's six feet tall. I'm gonna have to get this out today before it starts going to seed. I have quite the mess from planting still here. I'll be cleaning this up over the next couple of days as well. We get this all nice and clean, get rid of all the pots that are out here, all the stuff out here. I'll probably let this grow and everything else I'm gonna trim and pull and get this all nice and cleaned up. Yesterday, I started making a video of me closing up that hole up there. That hole's been there forever. It was our air conditioner when we lived in this, when we built the house. Then it had a patch over it for many years, and then we used it again for a while. And then when I sealed it up, I just used heavy plastic, and that finally fell off. So. We kind of like the heavy plastic because you got more light up there. So I cut a sheet of plexiglass and got that put on there. I started to film it. I was drilling the holes in the plastic and stuff. I had that all filmed. And then I looked up because it was getting dark and there was rain like right behind the trees there. So I had to rush around, get my caulk and everything. I actually left the caulk in here, the caulk and the screws because I had to rush in here because it was raining really hard. But I got it in place, and because I was under the overhang, I got the caulk and everything on there, but I was getting really wet, so I had to get down off of there before I slipped and fell. So that was that. I never got the film finished. But back to today. I got my brush whacker here and my harness and i'm going to get that into the gator and start way up there by the utilities on the far lot here are the zinnias 
This garden is all zinnias, and you can see some of them are getting pretty big. I still got to get that stuff weeded before it goes to seed, but there's time for that. That's it for the top half. I had to go under the fence a bit, but not too much. The horses got rid of just about everything, all of the grass, but there were some tall weeds under there. Not too bad. Every tree needed to be trimmed around. Natalie can actually get real close. I believe there was only one of them that she couldn't get right up to. So I really didn't need to trim those, but I always have to trim by the electrical boxes there and I always have to trim by these three trees and then just a little bit by the rock here around that stuff and by that apple tree and it was almost nothing underneath the apple tree which is good as soon as some of these trees produce enough shade I'm not going to have to trim under them anymore and that's my long-term goal not to have to do so much trimming or barely any at all Hopefully this thing lasts the rest of the year. This is a 223R and I don't believe they make these anymore. But whenever I start it, the head is awfully loose on here. Maybe I can open this up and tighten that up a bit. I know it's supposed to float a bit so you don't get so much shock, but it seems way loose like when you pull on the crank it the whole head comes and it's like the gear that drives this if that's what it is it's like it comes loose i may have to open that up and look at it all right now i gotta go around all three of those bushes go by all the trees down this way by them rocks all around the house and under the fence all the way down to the end of the road and along the vineyard and I have to do the dry lot and I have two hours to get it done so I better get moving.
is cutting right behind me, so I gotta speed up here. I usually don't cut this stuff, but we're gonna be moving this gravel to the back of the shed, and we gotta get in here with a skid steer. He's gonna move these rocks for me, and then come in and get this gravel. I don't know if I should have him try to move this stuff. This stuff's pretty heavy. Or if I should drag this out of here with the gator. My sister's trailer's here for another month, so I gotta work in from this way. Yeah, this stuff needs to go behind the shed anyways, so I should just try to get it with the gator. All right. Yeah, I don't know how I missed this. I gotta get this stuff here and then around the electrical stuff here. Then I gotta get around the barn, over here, around the house, all down the road, and then end up in the dry lot down there. It's a good amount to do. Yeah, I should get some of this stuff too by the water. All right, let's get at it. got everything that I'm gonna get today except for this lower dry lot. I got to get this entire inside cut all the way up to the bluff there and then I think I'll get the back too. Shouldn't take too long. This is the last of it. Got a ton of curly dock in here and it's already gone to seed but oh well. Natalie's getting a lot of word-of-mouth business now so this place needs to look a lot more professional than it does, and I'm the one to do it. So, let's get this place cut.
All right, that's going to wrap things up. This place looks really nice. Well, the entire place looks really nice. Natalie's cut everywhere, and I've trimmed everywhere, but underneath that road fence out there. I just don't have the time today. It's been about five hours since I started, and I got to get to work on the day job. This stump from the common mullen is like wood. I almost tripped on it before. Pretty tough stuff. But this titanium cord that I'm using cuts through it like butter. Yeah, I won't use anything else now. I've had stuff sitting on the shelf for ages. <sighs> All right, yeah, that was four tanks of gas. Starting to run low on my, on my mix. I have to go fill that up. We'll probably do a road trip video for that because we got to go all the way through that way. Again, our main road is being worked on. So you either take a detour way that way and then way that way on more modern roads, or you could take the gravel roads and go off through that. So Natalie and I will probably do that. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you give the video a like and or share it, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.